it will surprise you to note that when the minister spoke in his statement, he failed to inform all of us that something significant has happened at the Bank of Ghana. I just had a copy of the document itself, only to realize that between January 2021, uh, 2022, January 2022, and June 2022, the minister responsible for finance and the government has gone to the Bank of Ghana and they have encouraged the Bank of Ghana to print money worth 22 billion Ghana cities. They have printed 22 billion Ghana cities fresh money without the knowledge of parliament. Colleagues, I am saddened. No wonder inflation is galloping. No wonder that our reserves position is dwindling. Because when you create a new money out of the thin air, what happens is that inflation will go up. And obviously, and obviously, again, because it's a new money, you will end up losing your reserves because there will be new consumption. I am surprised that in the minister's statement, he failed to alert all of us that he has encouraged the Bank of Ghana to print new money worth 22 billion Ghana cities. Only for us to see it in this document. And you can see it in the media review document, page 97, appendix 2A. And the Bank of Ghana, they have printed 22 billion and 48 million Ghana cities. 22 billion and 48 million Ghana cities, new money that they have printed without approval of parliament, without informing all of us. This is illegal. It is against the Bank of Ghana Act. And I want to urge the governor of the central bank that he has engaged in an illegality. Gross one, gross. Gross illegality. Yes. And in future, if he's asked to print money, he should first come to parliament first. Before he acts, but in the meantime, I'm surprised that our minister responsible for finance failed to talk about it. So what he did today is a nullity. He should come back again and deliver a new media review. Because this is material. It is, in fact, pervasive for a minister to omit the fact that they have taken 22 billion Ghana cities from the central bank is pervasive. I cannot accept it. It is scandalous, and he should have at least, as part of his statement, mentioned to us. Apparently, it is hidden in the appendix, appendix 3A. So if you do not have an eye, or you don't have a spectacle like I have, then it means you will see it. Appendix 2A. I am saddened. No wonder inflation is going to the roof. If this trend continues, I won't be surprised that we'll end the year with inflation of 50%. If this trend continues, we may end up ending the year with inflation of about 50%. And we'll end up depleting the entire foreign reserves of our country to the extent that a time will come we may not end up getting money to take care of our major imports such as petroleum products and medicine. Let me end by saying that it is not only wrong, but it shows that this government is grossly incompetent. That at the time that investor community has lost hope in your economy, you don't do monetary financing. You don't do monetary financing. Because one thing that the NDC successfully removed in the year 2016 was the fact that we removed what we call fiscal dominance. Today, fiscal dominance is back in style. Reinstated. It's back with jacket. It's back in a way that is not acceptable. Ghana is in deep shit. Excuse my language. Things fall apart. Things fall apart. The center cannot hold. In fact, Aji Gong. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs>
Thank you.